Hey guys, I'm back again, and I wanted to go over another DeFi position in the Cardano ecosystem that is just catching my eye, and I just, I, I just, I have to try it out. So Indigo, Indigo is a platform where they use synthetic assets, which sounds kind of scary, but basically what they do is they build these stability pools over here and then people deposit stability pools and they get interest for putting their money in the stability pool and then that's what keeps the peg of these assets ibtc ieth all these things and you can see that the pools don't have that much money in them right now like we got 55 bitcoin in this one uh 50 559 ethereum in this one and about 3 million us dollars in iusd so it's pretty early not a lot of money in it when it comes to actual DeFi. But it's not nothing, that's for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. So I'm going to do this right now, and then I'm going to explain why I'm doing it. So we're going to go to open a position. I'm going to use a 1000 ADA. And I want a 200% collateral ratio. So that will mean I will loan out 0 0.008407 uh, Bitcoin. So let's do that. So look at that. I got my IBTC. So I transmitted a thousand ADA into here. And now I have ADA and Bitcoin, which is pretty cool. And I have a 200% collateral ratio. So if we get, I believe, about 110%, then you get liquidated, which is not what we want to do. So let's go to stability pools. Let's open account with IBTC. And let's give it to them um we have a five ada fee and a refundable deposit fee so you know if you're using a small amount of ada this might not be worth it just based on the fee alone um five ada is pretty high so let's do this well that was pretty quick okay so now i've borrowed some bitcoin using ada as collateral and now i have put this this Bitcoin into a stability pool, which is going to earn interest. And it doesn't tell you how much interest, but you can see I've already earned 0 0.000379 ADA back to dashboard. And we can see our collateral ratio, our balance. We still have a little bit of Bitcoin that didn't go in or something, I guess. Okay. So now I want to explain what, why I'm doing this. So let's, let's go to Twitter. Bang. Look at this. The average IBTC stability pool APR is 109% on like throughout January. That's crazy. That's an insane rate. So people are getting paid handsomely to, to provide stability to these assets. Because we're so early in the game, this, AP, this APR should fall. It should come down tremendously. But for the meantime, this is fantastic. And then the other thing is we earn indie tokens. I don't know um, if the APR represents I'm getting more IBTC or if I'm getting just indie tokens. I actually don't know. But um, you can also stake the indie. And that's a 25% interest rate. And you get a protocol fee sharing as well, which in this is not included right now. But in the future, we will see. So... Basically, you're getting paid handsomely to take on this risk of, you know, creating the stability pool. So let's let's go over what I just did. So this is the Indigo IBTC DeFi strategy. So I provided 1,000 ADA, which is 370 US dollars. And this ADA is going to earn our staking interest. So that is sweet. So you're not giving up your staking interest. You still are basically getting, it's like holding the ADA, right? But it's in the platform, so... There's more risks associated with it. But then I borrowed about $185 of Bitcoin because if we do 0 0.008. Yeah, yeah. So it's about, it's about $185 of Bitcoin US. And then I provided it to the stability pool, which is about 100% interest. It earns indie tokens, and then you can stake the indie tokens. So yeah, that's kind of what I've done. Um, I kind of threw in some calculations here, but I'm I'm gonna wait and, and see um, 
how it goes, to be honest, and uh, you know, update you guys with how that is. But what are the risks here? So the risks are that we get liquidated in the loan. That is the first risk. So that is if Bitcoin goes up against ADA or ADA goes down against Bitcoin. And basically, I don't have enough collateral to back the loan. Then I will get my ADA collateral will basically be forced to pay off the Bitcoin loan net zero. And I might lose some money on that liquidation. Definitely, there's some fees involved with that. So that's one risk. But since ADA and Bitcoin kind of generally go together and ADA should go up more than Bitcoin when we get into uh, more of a bull market, this loan should work out fine. But when we're looking at the downside, um, there is some risk here and that's something that has to be managed. Um, if you see the reserve ratio falling, 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 you either want to add more ADA to your collateral or you want to just pull, pull out the loan because... You just don't want to get liquidated. Um, I, I need to look more into how to calculate kind of the liquidation costs and risks. But the other thing is IBTC could, IBTC could lose its peg. So if something's wrong, stability pools, everyone pulls out, um, you could have the Bitcoin itself lose its peg and that could cause all kinds of problems. Um, yeah, that could not be good. The other thing is platform failure. If there's like a hack or something, smart contract gets hacked. Um, they could, you could lose your money basically. So these are the risks that I'm taking on by providing my ADA. Um, but I want to try these things for everybody and, and see how it goes. Because honestly, when you get into these things really early in the game, they can be tremendously, tremendously rewarding, but there's a lot of risk involved. So, um, if you're thinking or looking at trying this, use a very small amount of your money, do more research on it. <music>